Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Star Sector, the Tyridor campaign. Last time, we captured Aura's grip and with that pushed the Tritachion Corporation out of the system. The Tritachion no longer exist, they are not here anymore, they are gone. And now, the Hegemony is, um... Let's be honest, the Hegemony are actually are really the only people we're actually angry with at the moment. The Hegemony are literally vengeful, Ludic Path, but who cares about Ludic Path and Pirates. Uh, Dialogionix is inhospitable, so we might actually... If we actually wipe out the hegemony, we can diplomacy bomb the avionics. Everyone's going to be our friends, kind of. And um, we can just work on taking back the Templar. But I will take back the planets. Um, right. First things first. We lost the halberd due to my mistake last episode. So first thing I'm going to do is head back to Archon, drop off all my victory ships. All of them. Um, and basically get a new capital ship. Um, the idea that is going to be, um, if I can, I'll get a Claymore. I will get a Halberd again in time, because I really liked it. Oh, for God's sake, really. You, you don't even exist. Your faction is deleted from existence. Why are you even here? Fine. Apparently our job isn't finished yet. You still have work to do. Right. Um... You on you, you on you, uh, you on you, you on you, you on you, and sure, then we'll get, grab, hang on, so what's our, what's our okay, we are winning on range stupidly, so it's not required, pick up that, pick up that, and go for it. Umera, hi. Hi, Umera. You're in front of me. Yes, I, I can see you there. Thank you. Um, so yeah, because we got a hal we lost the halberd last time, but I still like the halberd, so we will get another halberd at some point. But people were saying that they want to see what the claymore is like, and so do I. We had we didn't get a chance to get a claymore. Um, we bought a halberd instead, which is a fantastic capital ship. I do like the halberd very much. Um, ram drive issues aside. I like the halberd very much. Um, so I kind of want to see what the claymore is like. So we're going to prioritize the claymore. Um, potentially get another halberd if we have the chance, but might be prioritizing claymores first. Once, of course, all these guys are dead. But they, didn't have, they didn't even have a capital ship, did they? That aurora, that aurora is already... No. Or it looked like it took a lot of damage, but that was just an artifact. Uh, missiles away. Wayfarer gonna go down soon. Concerts care. Out of the way, people! Out of the way! Really aggressive there, uh, Keegan. Like, stupidly aggressive. Keegan's gonna die right now. Bye, Keegan. Really aggressive for no reason. Really aggressive for no reason, Keegan. I guess we once we removed long reach, you just, you just had no reason to live anymore, did you? I guess I understand. Oh, uh, and you've overloaded as well. But you're, you should be okay with overloading, because you are safety overrides. Okay, hold fire. We can hold fire, we can just let all our flux just drain away. Good. Hold fire again, and then open fire. Tempest destroyed, that Zen is taking damage still. You can Fortress Shield if you really wanted to. It's a bit quiet if you Fortress Shield, isn't it? Alright, we're back up to full. Put the brawler down there. Momentum is currently blocked by wreckage. There you go. 
Nice shot into the there. Nice Momentum down. Vortex gonna go down real soon as well. Goodbye, Vortex. Zenith it's safe by wreckage again. Oh, and I have a bunch of wreckage flying around. Thank you. That should be it, right? That should be it. It's not it, actually. Um, there's an Aurora still down there. Huh. Okay. I see. Healed up. To bump, bump that away. Right. Gemini is down. Aurora is down. Holder. Thunder. They're all, they're all working on fleeing as well, I believe. Yeah, they're, they're fleeing. Fair enough. It's not Dally. Uh, they're maneuvering for another engagement. Are they, indeed? Are they? Okay, I'll transfer engagement to something else. We'll transfer to... Let's transfer to... You. Will combat deploy apart from you because you're low in CR. Will combat deploys again. Okay, and now again orders is you on you, you on uh, you on you, uh, you on you, you on you. And grab that. That we don't have much to worry about. Wow. Uh, that's actually horrible. Wow. Re Jesus. I did not set these up at all, did I? Nope, I did not. I did not set up these at all. Look at that. Those weapons, those weapon groups are appallingly bad. Well, those are really bad weapon groups. Like, stupidly bad weapon groups. Everything else is on auto fire, by the way. Three, four, five. They're all on auto fire because otherwise nothing's going to get done. Enjoy the tactical lasers, buddy. Back away, back away, back away, back away. You got that? Yeah, good. Use it down, thunder down. Hammerhead's about to go down. Figaris is over there with a lot of hammers on you. That's a lot of hammers. That's two hammer launchers and a, and a, and a big hammer launcher as well. Come on, there you go. Done. Done. Are they retreating? They are retreating. Let them go. Ship recovery? Nope. Okay. Fine. Pick through everything anyway. Drop everything off. They just get dropped off because... Hang on. What are you? Medusa D. No, I don't care about you. Right. Drop stuff off at the shops. Uh, gonna be you, a lot of you, a lot of the extra fuel I don't need as well. Right, that's his gunnery control AI. Sure. And right, let's head back. Head back to Archon. In fact, I'm actually gonna cut out the travel time. You'll meet me back in Archon, folks. Yeah, and we're back, ladies and gentlemen. It was a quick one-minute trip, nothing really happened, so, uh... Right, here we are at Arakan. Let's just dump everything that needs dumping. Uh, so, storage. Leave the big ships in storage. The Victory, the, uh, the second Paragon, the Legion, the Onslaught, and the 14th Battle Group Onslaught. Anything we want to take with... Look, look at this. <laughs> i got two Legions, three Onslaughts, two Astrals, a Conquest, an Odyssey, a Victory, Omega's Wrath... Two Auroras, an Apogee, 
of uh, of Vindicator S, Elder Orb. It's a little bit crazy back here, I'll be honest with you. That's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven capital ships, uh, five cruisers. There's uh, trophy ships. <laughs> I am very tempted to make a 25 capital ship fleet to take on uh, the, um, the Templar later on. Maybe we'll see if you can make that even begin to happen. Right. Now, we have about 5,500. So, 5,500. 555,000. There we go. That's how words work. Let's dump all this off. Um, and so, about getting any of all of any and all of the um, weapons we need to get out a. Oh, good! That's fantastic news. We got both of them. Um, we can't afford both of them, but they're both there. So we're going to pick up the Claymore now, because we've seen the, the Halberd. Halberd's a fantastic ship. I want to see what the Claymore is, because I want to see what the um, Judgment is as well. So we're going to get one of you. Hi. Tempted to get another Angon, to be honest, because you, keep carrying a lot of, you need to carry a lot of fuel and a lot of um, supplies around. Tempted to get a secondary Angon as well. So, actually, let's go, let's go do that now. Um, pick up a secondary Angon. we got the money for that as well. So, secondary Angon. Haha, mine. Um, do I want to get a little, another little, another, eh, another little frigate? Possibly. You got a ram drive. I'm not touching you with a barge pole. You got a ram drive. No, 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 no. No more ram drive ships. A labrys destroyer. A labrys destroyer. Hey. Um. Sure. Why not? Another, another new ship that that exists and I haven't tried out yet. A Darga, again. Interesting, but... Nah. Lances. Interesting ships. Ram drive, again. Issues. Uh, okay, right. Let us see about what we have got here. First things first, let's work on the Claymore. We have several... Okay, we've got a, quite a decent... So quite decent. we got broadsides. Very much broadside-oriented, apart from uh, the Judgment, which is a single... Unguided massive missile of devastating yield designed to outrun planetary. First thing, wait, wait, I just remembered something. Uh, yep. Kakam. Thank you. Right. Sorry. It just it just occurred to me like I can't forget that now. Right. So, got one. Got nine mediums. And these aren't point defenses. These are definitely broadside weapons. And small energy, small energy, small energy there. So these are, these are kind of the point defenses here and here and there. Four medium missile hard points. So you're a missile boat of sorts. Okay. Your point defense your point defense comes from your drones, I understand. Okay, right. What is your system uh, what is your ship system actually? Your ship system is plasma jets. Brief but extreme boost to top speed, along with maneuverability. Okay, so you can turn around and stuff like that. Good. You can also fire. I need more, another two, another 400 crew, give or take. Um, okay, let's get 400 crew. There you go. Flat 2,000 crew. A flat 2,000 crew. Um, that's got running. Right, okay. Now. Okay, so point defense is on the sides here. Um. Fire emitters, um, ED lasers, tactical shock beams over there, PD beamer. Okay, we're gonna go for some PD lasers there, some re regular PD lasers. Right, you. Now, large energy here. You're broadsiding, so we want something umphy, maybe. Uh, what's your go? Your flux is not as efficient. Your shield's not as efficient as the Kleber, or the Claymore ship. This is actually going to be my ship, whatever it is. Um, do those taking care of the Paragon. Go back to taking care of the Paragon, and you need to level up. Um, you're level sixteen, so evasive action. Sure, why not? So what's the last? Your last skill is going to be apparently damage control. Sure. All right, be damage control. Would have been nice to have something else, but no, damage control it is. Fair enough. Okay, right. 
Carlos Rex is there. Right, okay. So back to you. You got those. What are the big ones going to be on either side? Uh, hang on. That setup that's a heavy cargo. We want fast fuel. A heavy cargo will do. A second heavy cargo. You're not a CSV. We need names. You're the CSV Sasquatch. Let me spell this correctly. Qua TCH. Sasquatch. You are going to be the CSV Spectre. Which was spelled correctly. I was. I took extra points for spelling Spectre correctly. For spelling Spectre correctly. Um, ooh, a Squall Spectre. Interesting. A Locust Spectre. Interesting. And a Support Spectre. Tactical Lasers. Pylum launchers and a hurricane merv. That is definitely support. <laughs> that is definitely support. That said, hmm. Um, that. But I want to swap these around. I don't. I don't, I don't think I want these ones. I want something else here. What else can I put on that? Um. Cool. Better drone racks. What is your, what are your, hang on, what is your weapon system? What is your ship system? Your ship system is burn drive. Okay. Right. I forgot a burn drive. That just seems very weird. Um, well, I want to put a, a deny this back on there, actually. If it's got a burn drive, that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll go back to have regular assault. If you've got a burn drive, we'll live with that. Okay, right. Uh, anyway, back to you. You are the CSV uh, Rober Velvet Claw. Haven't we had that name before? Like, in a different season? Wasn't Velvet Claw the name of my uh, the ship, the Dickerson ship, last season? I have to go double check now. Or I don't even bother double checking. You guys will do that for me. Um, okay, right. So, you're going to be point defense back here. Sure, have a... What kind of point defense? Tribeamer? Range. I don't, I don't I want some nice range on you. Um uh, sure, have a tribeamer. First things first, if that's a single shot missile, done. So hopefully that becomes double shot now. Right, what can you do to the front here? You can do you can do a proper Sabo storm. Like full on massive Sabo storm. Okay. It's silly. This is this is silly. This is okay. Uh, six hundred, six hundred for shields? No, no, no. Let's lower that down to three hundred for shields. Good. Um, ITU maybe, maybe not necessarily guaranteed yet. Um, right. The large energies on the sides are going to be. I am tempted to put high intensity lasers and maybe like HVDs here, but I can't put HVDs because of course this is a. Energy only. Okay. Um, a shul project. I haven't got enough. <laughs> I'd be tempted to go like just make this as an make it as an ORA ship just with um, <laughs> the coalition ORA fusion. Um, what have we got enough of? Like heavy blasted, but there's gonna be a lot of flux on the side there. Phase lances. It's stupid. But with ITUs, that could be amazing, actually. That is very stupid. That is so, so incredibly stupid. Uh, ITU, definitely for that. ITU? Yeah, ITU, because that's what ITU is going to be a full 60% range increase. So that ranges it 60% of that, goes another. Yeah, it's almost a thousand range on the phase lance. Um, right, large energies. What are we going to put in the large energies? Something with low flux, thank you very much, because frankly, I don't think I could do with high flux right now. Auto pulses have relatively low flux. 250. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to end up putting auto pulses on that, just because it's auto pulses. They'll just be there to just plink away at things. Right. Right, weapon groups. Um... PD, the PD, laser, PD turrets go back here on that. 
phase lances, auto pulse lasers are also an auto fire, as are the phase lance groups. The Judd no, again, let's figure this out properly. That's there, 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 there. That's going to alternate as well. Okay. A quick check. I also want to see if the extended SRX functions with the judgment. Okay. Let's give this a quick go. Um, give me a. Give me a high tech. Right, so. We have the judgment. Okay, we still, only have, we still only have one judgment. Fair enough. We still only have one judgment. It's all the way. <laughs> okay, so you're a support ship. Okay, and if I just turn around now. Oh, you guys are supposed to, you guys are supposed to be auto firing. Oh, auto fire, guys. There you go. I'm not entirely sure about this, to be honest. I definitely want the extra... That teleported. Okay, so... Okay, so the Claymore is essentially a massive platform for the Judgment Missile. And it's so, it's so big that uh, not even expanded Missile Rex doubles it, unfortunately. It's high explosive, so you definitely want to hit the hull, but to be fair, to be fair, the... That is 12,000 high explosive damage. That can do a lot of... Hang on. Well, okay, okay, hang on. Let's try this one more time. I thought it was only one simulation, but I lied. Because um, I want to see what this actually does to like a, a target of... Yeah, let's try you. What is that going to do to you? Assuming it hits. But first things first, we are going to... Yeah, that's an auto fire. Good. Shields up. Plasma jets are active, good. Okay, right, so. Missiles away. Okay, there he goes. Half health and onslaught with a single hit, pretty much. I kind of want maneuverability on this, to be honest. I kind of want maneuverability on this more than anything else. Not bad, but I kind of want maneuverability. The, 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 uh, the thing isn't enough. Uh, problem with that is the range. I need the ITUs to give the plasma lance, the, the phase lances, any good range. I need the phase lance. Okay, I need to have the range over there. Uh, what else could I be interesting to, to have on the sides? S rabs. I haven't got enough S rabs. I wouldn't mind having like several S rabs on the sides, but I don't have enough. Um, mm. Pulse lasers, I guess, is another option. Fairly basic for a pulse laser, but pulse lasers would be very. Things like the, the range is so narrow. I need okay. I need to find somewhere to get twenty five points from, and it might just be the ITU, because I want to keep all those sabos. All those sabos are going to be fantastic. It's going to be it's a sabo storm, and sabo storms are fantastically powerful. Okay. Okay. Drastic measures. Think about this. Um. There. Ox thrusters there. Okay, so hang on. how good is my turn to is my side turning now? 
decent, and if I have and, and if I turn the plasma jets on, it's a little bit better. Okay, uh, do that and actually turn on the uh, the auto fire here. Otherwise, I'm going to go nuts turning on every fight. Okay, so we have something new. Robo River Claw is back up there. Spectre can join in the ranks here. Might see about bringing you in every fight in a bit. Um, with two Angons, we've got plenty of cargo space. Getting a fuel ship would not be a bad idea either, to be honest. Um, dump, dump, dump. Uh, can I afford a fuel ship? I can. I think I can afford a, um, a fuel Angon. Or a fuel... A fuel adds... No, fuel Angon. Fuel Angon gives me at least another thousand fuel capacity. Uh, we're okay for fuel now. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay for fuel. We're okay for fuel. Let's, 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 let's step it back a little bit. We're okay for fuel at the moment. Uh, LT's just buy the damn thing. Okay, so a couple of fuel there. Five millions worth. Um, okay, it's 26,000 there. Get the 500 fuel. And then as many supplies as I can get my hands on. Is not a lot, to be honest. Yeah, fine, sure, whatever. Uh, repair up. No, we're all good. No more units. Um, any capture orders for us? Conquest Milnshin Jangala. I see. This is interesting, because we do want to go after that. It's a size 6 base, I believe? Is it just a size 6? Pause. Um, D, F, H... Size 6 base. Okay, it's not going to be easy. Um, but doable, potentially. If I start grabbing some patrols to maybe act as backup, that'd be nice. Uh, I don't think I've got the, the marines for that, though. I don't think I've got the marines for that. That's the only problem. Is I don't think I've got the marines for it. How much do I get for releasing a I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it once. I'm gonna do a single one just to see how much money I get for this. If I collect the ransom on you, it's eleven. I don't even need to do it. Just to see eleven thousand. So if I did three of them, that would be thirty-three thousand. How many marines can I get for thirty-three thousand? Enough to get me over five hundred at least. So how much? I need uh, sixteen to go to five hundred. Sixteen is over. It's a tenth. One guy will give me enough. Okay, let's do this then. Let's do this. Uh, special functions, prisoner actions, collect the ransom, get one prisoner's back worth, and we will grab uh, 16 marines. Got... Wow, I miscalculated that horribly, didn't I? People were yelling at me, it's like, no, I miscalculated I need another 10. Another 10 is going to be 6,000 up on, on top of that. Go buy machinery. I'll find some more of you soon enough. Um, right, okay. There. Uh, hang on. Just forgot. Okay, so there we have it. We have ourselves the uh, the Robo Velvet Claw, which I believe we've used in the previous season. That's good for random choices, I guess. Um, Corollus Rex, Terpstide. Um, Sasquatch is over there. Uh, the Spectre is over there. Everyone's hit level twenty at this point. Which means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need one. I need two more officers. I'm allowed to have. Um, okay. So next episode, we'll see. We'll make. Um, hang on. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna commit to this. Let's just commit to that. I have accepted that. We've accepted that mission. So next episode, we will basically see what many friends we can grab along the way, and basically rush Corvus, and see if we can take Jangala out. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time, folks. See you then. Bye.